All right, welcome to that Sin Show. We're back and we've got something a little different here today. The other day, Apple came out with Vision Pro and then Moog said, you know what? We're done making analog synthesizers. We're sticking to the software game. Is this the end of Moog? Let's check it out. Let's go with that Sin Show. All right, so if you haven't noticed, Moog has been delving into the software BST game for a while. They just released the Mariana. They had the old Model D app. They had the Animoog Z. And now they came with the Animoog, or Animoog, however you want to say it, Galaxy, which is a VR app inside this weird Apple headset. And apparently people want people want people to wear this headset around like the Samurai wears these, these Samurai shades. But let's check it out, man. Let's go check out their video real quick. This is directly from Moog. So you get the idea. This is what this is one of the best selling apps of all time for Moog. It was a huge success and it's got a weird form of synthesis. And now what they said is we're going to go put this in VR. So let's check this out right here. Moog takes its Animoog engine to the mixed reality galaxy in Apple Vision Pro. Okay. This new synthesizer app is designed exclusively for Apple Vision Pro, taking the any tropic synth engine into immersive worlds. So this is what it looks like here, man. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty wild. And if we go back over here, let's check out the Moog site for a quick second. Unlocking another galaxy. This is what it looks like inside the VR. And I got a couple videos here, which I'm gonna show you, of real world people putting this headset on and then looking inside and seeing how, to, seeing how it plays. But man, this is, you know, the creative minds at Moog have been part of many firsts in the space where art and technology intersect. From the brands beginning to popularize in the VR, blah, blah, blah. The first professional synthesizer designed for iPad, they did it, and now they got one designed for VR Pro, okay? So let's look at this, a real world video of this. So this is what we got here. We got, we got VJ Franks K, subscribe and like as usual. And let's check out him. He's actually in the world. So let's see what he's got going on here. As you can see, he's moving his hand in VR. I don't know, man. This is... I'm not one to shy away from technology, and I don't want to be that guy that when the iPhone came out, I was like, you know, I'm never getting a phone, man. But this here, I can't just see myself throwing on a VR headset, which, keep in mind, costs $3,500 and buying this. So they're selling this for $29, but you need a $3,500 headset to buy it. So let's watch it for a couple more seconds. You get the idea. Let's jump over to another one real quick. This is uh, Gert Bevan. Subscribe and like. This is in the VR world. Okay. Well, I will say the technology is actually starting to impress me a little here, and I'm getting a little more into this. Minus the headset, if they could do a pair, if Apple could do these glasses with, uh, with that technology, I think I might use it.
All right, you get the idea. So you throw this headset on. If you guys haven't checked out this Apple headset, it's kind of crazy. Um, you, what, do you guys want to look at it for a real quick second and have a look? Let's just see here. Let's go over to Apple headset and let's see. Apple VR. All right, let's go real quick. Let's see. Here it is. It's crazy. I don't know. You can be wearing around this around every day. I don't think so. But anyways, we go back over. The Animu Galaxy is one of the most successful and best synthesizer apps on iOS, which is wild, making sounds with your fingers, one touch, spatial commute, uh, computing. <clears throat> if we go down here, it's not just a simple one-to-one -one port. Animu XYZ app from iOS. Moog has created its first immersive synth with all new exclusive visuals, graphics, implemented gestures, and interactions. So, I mean, this is a... Uh, we can assume that this is leading the tech tech scene with vr but i don't know how popular vr is going to be man it's just not taking off the way they expected and it's because they haven't put the vr in sunglasses like this you know it and i know it let's get our music back so we go down here super exciting the midi implementation besides exploring it virtually it's got midi mpe controller you can you can use a highly expressive gear externally to control it as you can see here, you're using the what? Sub 25 to control the app in VR. $29.99 if you get the Vision, Apple Vision Pro, which is $3,500. Is this the end of Moog? You know, I gotta say, this is something that I like the idea of VR. I like AR better than VR, which Apple seems to be doing. Moog, you better start coming up with some synthesizer soon or you're gonna lose all your old school fans. We're not gonna buy a 3500 i'm not buying it anyway but most people aren't gonna buy a 3500 dollar pair of ski goggles to play a little bit of synthesizer in there especially not in a poor man's world definitely not nobody in the samurai army but that's it that's that synth show you tell me is this the end of moog or is this the beginning of them going into the future with apple i don't know we'll see we'll see you later that's it show shoo, shoo.